Gettier and Cresswell was left gutted by West Ham's late defeat at Southampton. The Hammers were left heartbroken as they left St. Mary's with nothing despite a brave fight back. Southampton were two goals and a man up with 40 minutes gone. But a brace from Javier Hernandez appeared to have earned West Ham a valiant point. Left back Cresswell, who started ahead of Arthur Masuaku following the Frenchman's poor display at Manchester United, played a key role in West Ham's equaliser too. The 2015 Hammer of the Year whipped in a perfect cross, and while Di Frasaco saw his header palmed onto the crossbar, Hernandez was once again first to react to poke home, meet Sofia Pesha Solito the model daughter of West Ham Vice Chairman Karen Brady. Instagram at Sofia Pesh Karen Brady's daughter Sofia Pesha Solito however, referee Lee Mason awarded the hosts a soft penalty Southampton's second of the game in stoppage time after Pablo Zabaleta was deemed to have pushed Maya Yoshida. Southampton's first spot kick had been given for a tug back by ex-Saints defender Jose Fonte on Stephen Davis. And while Cresswell was less sure about Marco Arnatovic's reckless elbow on Jack Stevens, he felt West Ham's effort when playing with 10 deserved more in the 32 loss. It feels good to be back in the side but obviously it's disappointing the way the games ended, Cresswell told Star Sport, you work your backside off and you'll have to see the decision again, I haven't seen it but I I think it looked harsh. It's great character from us but really disappointing the way the games ended Aaron Cresswell it's a game deciding decision the penalty at the end when quizzed on Arnatovic's red card and the two penalties conceded all in one match Cresswell added I would and he say it's a worry it showed great character from us being 20 down and being down to 10 men and then coming back into the game we Fully deserved it. The way we reacted to the decisions, it's great character from us but really disappointing the way the games ended. For us, we've got to work on the things we've done wrong over the first two games of the season and put that right. To be fair, we've worked hard all week building up to the game. He'll have to look at the decisions again but some of them looked a bit harsh. I don't know about the sending off, but certainly if you look at it from our point of view, we worked our backsides off for those 60 minutes. When asked if there's still plenty of optimism looking ahead, Cresswell added definitely, of course, we're feeling down now with the defeat, but we've got to work hard and get ready for Newcastle. West Ham have the chance to get their first win of the new season on Wednesday. Slaven Bilek's side travel to Cheltenham for their EFL Cup second round tie 7.45pm where they will hope to start a potential cup run. Their next Premier League test comes at Newcastle on Saturday. Related Articles